Good evening. My name is Khushi Thakkar. And before I share my thoughts and experiences, I request you to do a small activity with me. Tap your arms. Pull your cheeks. Now, you must be wondering, why am I giving you such commands? But, have you ever wondered who gives command to your body to perform different actions? Brain cells, extremely tiny, but so important in your life. Without it, you are nothing but a vegetable. We have between 50,000 to 70,000 thoughts per day. This means we have 35 to 48 thoughts per minute on average. Now, you must be pondering, why am I talking about brain cells? I'm a very curious kid and experience the rush of thoughts often. I was confused at various events on what thought I could pick up while my task. This led me to take up a workshop on brainstorming. After which, I started wondering all the more on how does our brain work and how does it get command to do something. After my workshop, I approached my grandfather. Fortunately, my grandfather, who is a doctor, helped me understand this complex topic. He is surely an inspiration to me. I would like to share the structure in few medical terms. A human body is made up of trillions and trillions of cells. The cells of the nervous system, also known as neurons, are specialized for carrying messages through our brain cells. Like a teacher giving instruction to their students, right? The neurons have specialized cell parts called dendrites and exons. The dendrites bring electrical signals to our cell body and axons take the information away from the cell body. Take an example that someone is pinching you. So the dendrites take the signal through our cell body and axons give command to your brain and then you react. I think dendrites and axons are the parents of the neurons who help the neurons to give command. The neurons have specialized cell parts called the neurons have a nucleus that contains genes. The nucleus is called the brain of the cell because it holds the information needed to conduct most of these cells. An amazing fact is that we have 100 billion brain cells and about 10 times support cells that help the neurons. I think we'll just concentrate on the neurons themselves. Our brain weighs about 3 pounds and after the age of 20 we lose about a gram of brain mass per year. I think our brain is like a caterpillar which sheds off its skin or our neurons like dandruff falling off our hair or ice cream melting. Say we lose 70 million neur neurons per year. This means we lose 190,000 neurons per day. So all in all, our brain cells are as precious as a gem. And we should do activities such as meditation, eat healthy, play our favorite sport or anything that relaxes or de-stresses you. Hence, we don't lose our brain cells a lot. Research into neurogenesis, the ability of certain brain area to grow new brain cells has taken an exciting turn. Research has discovered that we can foster new brain cell growth through exercise and will eventually bottle that benefit through prescription medication and I hope to be a part of it in future. Now I think exercise and brain cells go hand in hand. Thank you for your wonderful time.